you got <laughs> So, okay. Um. <laughs> got to land here. Uh, all right. Yeah, so I'm party waiting. Yeah. I'm going to. No rush.
Amen. And then she is for everybody. They didn't say it just for right brain people. <laughs> it's for everyone. Amen. If God is creative and he's given us the creativity, yes, we work with what he made. But we, and we work with the spirit of creativity, then everyone, everyone has creativity in them. It will come out in different places. It might come out in mathematical equations. It might come out in songwriting. It might come out in how you make a bed. Yes, just <laughs> so. So, just so. How do you put the pillows on there? Just so. And you change the colors up every so often. Just so. That's how it is. Just say it. Yes. And if you're creative, sometimes we kind of don't take responsibility because we're free birds. Oh, oh yeah. However, God will help us put things into order. I know that because I had to have that help. And I wouldn't change it for anything now because, because I just, I liked to be free. But when I had to learn to communicate what I was doing, I freaked out. The man I work with, Josh Shrewsbury, the head of the prophetic at Morningstar, he's very ordered. He's a teacher. I'm a party waiting to land. He's ordered, so I'm a party waiting to land. I started crying, how am I supposed to do this? And he said, well, tell me how you do it. And he helped put order to what I do. For instance, he would say, tell me about, the, tell me how you start. He would say, I'd say, well, sometimes I start with a color. He said, then what? I said, I just start painting. He said, now be prophetic. You open your mouth, you let it go. You don't rethink it. You tell God, I hope this is you. You open up the fountain, you let it go. Word of knowledge, psh, flash, picture, vision, bam. Yes, sir. Paint that tree of knowledge, red, green, blue, whatever. It's so clear, you couldn't escape it. An impression, kind of moving the paint around, kind of moving, finding it, till, oh yeah, that's it, but you're really going, impressions, guts. It's different. Mm -hmm. So he helped me order and have steps so that I could communicate. Mm -hmm. It's really needed for yeah. people who are high-level seers. Yeah. And we fly, and we like that. It's fun. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes we get lost in our directions because we kind of don't know where we're supposed to land. Mm -hmm. So, all that is to say, we're whole brain, whole brain, and I declare the mind of Christ mm -hmm. and the freedom to explore the creativity that's in you mm -hmm. in every place in your life. Because I'll tell you something, the joy of the Lord will come into that place. He will speak to you in ways you've never heard Him before because you realize He's speaking to you. He can speak to you putting the pillows on the bed. You know he does, actually. You have lots of conversations there. <laughs> <laughs> you have some of the most intimate conversations with him. How? When you do your housekeeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very it's interesting. Awesome. Just saying. So, mm -hmm. I wanted to clear that. Mm -hmm. Because that oh. way, I can go to the next phase, which is yeah. talking about the arts as the apostolic. I believe that, I believe, I have no proof, but I believe that... <coughs> The Lord brought the art in through the prophetic. So it would get our attention, he would know he was speaking, and yeah. begin to decipher it and seek him to understand the mystery, That's right. to search out the matter. And it got our attention. And we started getting downloads, and we tried to paint them. And, and then in worship, capturing sound yeah. and movement with color mm -hmm. and celebration. But I don't believe that's where it remains. Because I believe it's going into the apostolic. And here's why. I don't think it's any coincidence that in the church the apostolic is coming at the same time as the arts. Both days, in our language. But arts are about culture. Arts change culture. Culture is organic. And the arts affect it. And we are living in a time when visual pictures are prevalent. Our kids, grandkids, mm -hmm. on computers, pictures, everything, they, they, they actually receive information in ways we never did. Mm -hmm. 
So if we don't understand what's happening with art, the, all the arts and creativity, we're not going to be able to help them or make a way for them. Mm -hmm. So as the body of Christ, whether you paint, draw, or dance, kind of isn't the whole point. You have a part to play in it as well. Because it's about our church culture being created, being free, and raising up the next generation. So I'm gonna. I want to read. Um, I want to read the uh, two uh, definitions, dictionary definitions of culture. The first one is from the Free Dictionary, and you know there's multiple meanings, so I just picked one from each. And this one is the, the, the dictionary meaning of the word culture: the totality of socially transmitted behavior patterns, arts, <coughs> beliefs, institutions and all other products of human work and thought. Culture is organic. It has to do with humans. And we can shift and change it. The second one is from Merriam-Webster. The integrated pattern of human knowledge, belief, and behavior depends upon the capacity for learning and transmitting knowledge to succeeding <coughs> generations. That one so speaks volumes to me. Hmm. So, for me, these two things run equally, both in church culture and the, the culture I live in. My mandate has been to transform church culture with the Holy Spirit, invite everyone, help them to understand what's theirs and their part, your part. But the other is to be relevant to the culture I live in. Because if I just stay in here, mm -hmm. I don't do anything. Mm -hmm. So, one of the reasons that Darren, really? Yes. Thank you for listening to the rules. <laughs> we have a few rules. He did an amazing job. A lot of rules. You're not going to see any obvious symbols up here. There's a reason for that in terms of Christian symbols. Um, because I believe symbols are a good place to start, but we need to express what those symbols are about. Because if we go out in culture with just a bunch of symbols. I don't know why I didn't get saved through that. I didn't understand the beauty of the cross till after I got saved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw the symbol. I knew what it was. Mm -hmm. But I did not understand mm -hmm. the horrible death and the beauty of mm -hmm. my salvation mm -hmm. until I got saved. Mm -hmm. So if I just throw up a cross out there, well, it's a nice earring sign now. It's got all the kinds of things. Yeah. Holy Spirit's way bigger than a little bird. Mm -hmm. It's a good place to start. But then what's the rest of the story? What's the bird doing? What's he saying? What atmosphere is he shifting? What is he changing? Paint that. Mm -hmm. Because when you paint with the Holy Spirit, <coughs> you are an anointing cloth. You are Christ in, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Everyone is. So when I paint and I touch things, there's a tangible anointing here. Just like when you walk into a room and shift an atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So all I have to do is paint and understand what is my song, dance, and painting. Mm -hmm. Why I paint for the Holy Spirit <coughs> to become the best I can to give glory to Jesus and then let it out there. Get it out. Mm -hmm. Get involved in uh, paint uh, groups, culture, anything, art clubs. Arm in arm. Mm -hmm. There's a, a misunderstanding. People believe that unless a painting, this going to sound contradictory, was painted by the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. there is no anointing. Mm -hmm. Now, it's certainly not going to have the level of what we will have painting in concert with him. But people have been given, given gifts, and he did die for them. 
They just haven't made that link yet. They just haven't got the connection. I have stood in front of paintings in galleries. Astounding. The new, the, there's a new age imagery all on it. I don't care. Because the level of excellence, invention in that painting, I would do a dance in that gallery and I would give glory to the Lord from it. It would cause me to praise Him mm. and pray for that person. And the flip side is, if I see something that's really dark and demonic, I just go, Lord, flip their life around. Because now I know what to pray about in their life. I don't know that person. I can read that painting. And I own that sphere oh. in painting. It's a place that I have authority. So when I release prayers for that person, bam. The other thing I would also highly recommend everybody in this room, I would highly recommend that you try every discipline, even for a week. Mm -hmm. You would dance, you would write, and you would paint. Oh. And here's why. Once you try each one, there will be a tangible connection that you will have when you see people dance, you will understand it more. When you hear good writing, you might also discover you have a gift you didn't know you had. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't like to write. Well, that would work. I know. <laughs> Actually, you have one-liners. If I have that. Yes, you have one-liners. <laughs> you do. You have telegrams. <laughs> Actually, they're very encouraging for people. Mm. Because that's your heart, is to <coughs> encourage. Mm. In just a single sentence. You have them. You think them all the time. That's how you pray. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. So I would encourage you to try the different disciplines. Because it will open you up. You might find you have a gift you didn't know you had. But it will also make a connection. Um, Especially if you have children and grandchildren, do stuff with them. Most of you probably already do. Mm -hmm. And so there's a relationship now with them in a place of creativity. And they are given a freedom that some of my generation just plain didn't have. Mm -hmm. So, again, you're changing generations and cultures. We are passing it down. Yes. So, that's all that talking kind of thing I'm going to do. I want to um, actually interpret the paintings that were done tonight, and I'm actually going to have your help. So what I always say when I ask questions is, what do you see, and you absolutely can't get it wrong, because you can't, you cannot, it's like not possible. So I want to start with this painting right here, well actually I want to start with all three for a minute. Look at all three. Do we see anything in common? Yellow and orange. Someone Color. raise their hand and I'll yeah. Go ahead. Yellow, yellow and orange. All the way through. Yeah. Does it speak anything to you? Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> glory. Glory. Yeah. So we got the yellow, the orange, the glory. The beauty and his glory together. Beauty and glory are many times in scripture the, the uh, priestly garments. His beauty, they were made for his beauty and his glory. Mm -hmm. Actually, to you in particular, um, you really recognize beauty. Um, it's that kind of beauty, uh, a tender beauty. A very soft beauty, the beauty that's in a discarded person. That is a gift that you have. I actually see flowers, these beautiful, delicate flowers all around you. That's who you are. They're so soft. They're just so soft. If you crush them, they'll dent. You'll see that little dent mark in them. And you, you'll protect those little flowers. So that little dent mark can't even happen. It's good. Because the beauty of a human being of him, his love is so precious to you and to him. I bless it, I honor it. Thank you. I acknowledge it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You, however, the yellow is about fire. It's a completely different reason why you like the yellow. It's fire. It is fire 
that, mm. well, sometimes it's hard to stay in your seat. But you like fires under people. Mm. <laughs> Depression? No, man. Mm. Yeah. Depression? I, I don't think so. Come on, let's go. Let's, let's just go to the mall. I don't care. Let's go out. I, I don't really care. But you're not going to stay the depressed. Because I carry a fire and I'm lighting one under you. <laughs> <coughs> that came out of your response to paintings. Right. Okay. This one right here. Can someone tell me what they see? Doesn't have to be some big mystical thing either, really. Waterfalls. Yeah. Waterfalls. That's not Why? Yeah. Oh yeah, I want to go. <laughs> I still want to go. You are a water bearer. You love the word of God. Truth. You are a water bearer, truth person. The truth. The absolute truth. Oh. It's so much to you. It's so hard sometimes when you're around the slippery, sliding mm. error. It is very hard because you were born to carry the standard of the water bearer and the truth. Yeah, it's like, wow. The thing is, is nothing's stopping it. This is moving, man. Right? Nothing's stopping it. It's flowing. It's flowing. And there's people, an ocean, a lake of, of humanity for you to speak to. Well, that's your book too, but other things. And that was like not prophetic, that part. So that's why I'm clean. But there are people yes. for you. They're already there. Mm -hmm. So Lord, I actually call forth the divine appointments for you. Thank I you, call Lord. them forth now for you to go speak and release yes. in the yes. places yes. that God has for you. Yes. I just call them out and I say, thank you. I also call forth the provision Help. for every trip. For everything you have to do, I just call it forth. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I know your wife prays, because I've experienced the benefit of it <coughs> the whole time I've been here. But for you, Mount Zion is face to face with God. You want to know Him. I want to see your glory. I want to see your glory. And you carry His kindness. How? Oh. Testament, so we can go and say, I want to see you. So I'm going to release to you, that's okay, this is going to be, I'm going to release to you the vision of, of seeing the face of Jesus. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You've seen him hazy, you've been at his feet, but I'm going to release his smile to you. I'm actually seeing his eyes flashing at you. They're, he's, they're flashing. <coughs> you have his attention. <laughs> okay. Somebody. I see right away. I saw the Olympic rings. Mm -hmm. And then circles of what? Yeah. <coughs> Now, does anyone have a word for Chicky based on what she said? What she did was gave you a clue. She's up to the challenge. Keep going. You're right. You're right. Me keep going. Yeah, keep going. She's up to the challenge. Who is she? Who is she? <laughs> you're, you're up to the challenge and you're in training for it and there's nothing going to hold you back. And it might feel like it's a bit kind of squiffy and out of focus, but you're going to make it. That sounds a bit generic, but you know. Hey, I have some. Well, yeah, go for when it. You, when you said the Olympic rings, I immediately heard the word champion. Me too. Yes. And she's describing how you get to be a champion. Yeah, yeah. And you just sealed the deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. Right? And ultimately, 
to bring life to others and victory in their lives as well. Mm -hmm. So good. You yeah. get to own the real estate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you have a lot of overlapping spheres of influence. Mm -hmm. There isn't just one. So you touch a lot of different <coughs> spheres. Mm -hmm. um, that's a different kind of governmental authority. Because there's multiple spheres of governmental authority. Mm. And it, it is in the prophetic and the apostolic both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's places that overlap where you will have key people in your life. There's key people to be put in place in your life in all these different spheres. I don't like to use the word network because it's overused yeah. in the world. world. Mm. Because it is about relationship, which I know you're keen on. <laughs> Donna's sister. I mean, it's like giving. But... <laughs> conference outside Boston. And then a couple of years later, she comes down to Morningstar, and I had just moved there, and she goes, I go, I know you. She goes, I know you too. Like, yeah, God. You are so good at this. I said, we fell in love. That's it. What are you going to do about it? You know? So, key people. Key people. There's more here, less here. Because this is a lot of spheres. Hmm. So I call forth now the key people, the counselors, the financiers, the Aaron's and the Aaron's to intercede. And I actually also call forth, ah, you know some of these, older people with wisdom <coughs> already. Yeah, they are definitely there. Um, and they'll, they'll also affirm for you and confirm who these other people, when you present them, say, ah, and they'll go, yeah, you're in. You'll, they're, you know, you already get to do this, but this is this is going to come now more quickly. And if you notice that these circles are really in focus, they're clear, so these things are going to come into a clear focus. Okay. Oh. So does anyone see? Yeah, I have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So my yeah. tie actually relates to the um, circle. Okay. The circles are almost all in the yellow. Yes. Oh, so I feel sorry. like she's operating in glory. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Ha! Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is a deceptively simple painting. <laughs> the paints are. I just want everyone to know, I, I like to say things like this in this context, because most people have no idea what's going on. Right. To paint a perfectly even line like that is very, very difficult. <laughs> on a, a, you know, you saw he was using paper plate to, to make those circles. And then those strokes with the, the perfect blend of color and the stroke mm -hmm. on that paper, which is very porous, that you're a master. This is a rush. Look at the length. I cannot yeah, tell. Yeah. Oh, I got to put that on a painting and it goes. <laughs> <laughs> this is, that, that's real skill. And it's very deceptively simple. It looks like you just drew lines, but you, you know what you're doing. So. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you had Thank you for your. Uh, your astute vision and recognition. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Molly. Um, I saw a few things. The first thing I saw were like an impression of stars coming together to form a bigger star. And then I saw like um, them being lenses that were going shoop, 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 to form like, like lots of different colored lenses coming together to form a clear. Um, lens of just like a white lens where all the colors come together to make white. Do you know anything about stage lighting? Okay. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. Looks yeah. Go ahead. And then I also saw like something um, like the the divine and the molecular coming together like cells or something. God, I love the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> yes. To the, from the smallest to the biggest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any response? To what you're saying? Yes. You have something. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. I know he does. Uh, <laughs> well, all I can really say is I'm intrigued by what you're perceiving. Of. 
Because a lot of the things that you're talking about are things that I think about. And uh, in one form or another, uh, either analytically or maybe in the realm of scientifically. Uh, and certainly aesthetically, about making compositions. It's uh, multiplicities of curved shapes and lines. So, I don't know what else to say. So you functioned in a word of knowledge. Yeah. Because you knew exactly what he was thinking when he was painting. You had no mm. way to know that. Mm. Word of knowledge. Awesome. Mm. Bam. Mm. You had clear, right there. Mm. So this mm. is how the prophetic works with the art. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just look at it. The Holy Spirit's going to tell you something, and it's going to be different. Mm -hmm. Two people responding to each other in a completely different way. Mm -hmm. Many times people think, well, I don't know anything about art, therefore I don't, can't say anything. Ooh. And I used to think that, like, uh, I like it, but I don't remember my art history stuff, so Ooh, not so much. That's really not the point. That's for a different conversation. That's for a formal conversation in an art gallery. That's still a good conversation for, for art appreciation, which is still an important conversation, especially in culture. But you can, you can also prophesy in conversation, too. Hey, you like that grain? Really? Wow. Man, you need a new job, don't you? I'll just, can I just, yeah, I just, yeah, man. I can see what you mean, that job thing. Yeah, man, I think it, man, don't you wish it was right, right around the corner? Yeah, that job. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're going to get a job. <laughs> Greenbacks, baby, Greenbacks. But I'm not going to say that, but you know, oh. right? Yes. Um, yeah, and this reminds me of um, what I see is kind of like, at first, like randomness, but organization. And it reminds me of something like what we might call the Big Bang, where the Big seems to like have scattered out all over the place, and many, many things happening in this, <coughs> but all comes under the guidance of God's hand to put everything that seemingly is random in exactly the right place in his concept of organization to create what eventually becomes our earth and the world and balance in the whole universe. Universe. One verse, his song, declared things into being. So now I'm also going to release over everyone order in the chaos. Things in your life that don't Thank seem to be Lord. clear. I release order in the chaos. I also release snap, 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 snap of the color of oh, the lenses good. so that you can see clearly, see clearly the light mm -hmm. of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. The light of the Lord in a situation. Creation. White That's light good. is all color put together. Mm -hmm. Black pigment of paint is all color together. But white light mm -hmm. is all color. So now I just release the clarity. I'm actually feeling my eyes go like this as I'm saying that, but what it is really on yeah. this. Yeah. Good. So thank you, Lord, for clear vision mm -hmm. by your light. Your light shows us. That was the song you were singing. Illuminate. Mm -hmm. The revelation from the illumination. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. When Molly was saying that, and she was... You were looking at it from the aspect of colored lenses. I've seen the optometrist's right. office. Right. And everything's coming into focus. Yes. Oh, yes. That's okay, that's really good. We came to the same word from different visual interpretation. Mm -hmm. that's good. Right? Can I ask something to her? Yes. She's looking at it, and it, the second song, we, actually, the first two songs we did. Um, come let's go up to the mountain and then calling every tribe and clan. Those servants mm. to me of every tribe and clan. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you've got white over the top there and he's the head. Absolutely.
absolutely. Right. Because right. the different plans have the different colors, the red and the green. This looks like headdress to me, even though yes. it's not really yeah. defined yeah. as, but it has that look, right? Yeah. Doesn't it just yeah. kind of have that look? Yeah. Or paint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What do you see in this mess? Everybody do this. Breakthrough. Freedom. Breakthrough. Breakthrough for you. Yes. You're kicking down the barn door. The door's been needing to come down. And you are fixing to kick it down. So I now empower your feet. I strengthen your legs. I strengthen your structure. I strengthen your foundation. Ho! Oh. Your foundation by the okay. power of God so that when you're ready to kick it, Lord. bam, it's down. You're almost there. You're almost ready to do it. You know what it is. You're almost ready. It's okay. You'll be ready at the right time. You can't make yourself get there any quicker. It's coming. It's coming. This is something you're going to say no to. Not anymore. <laughs> Right time. Mm -hmm. You'll get there. It knows exactly how we're made. Not fragile flower. Mm. Oh. Oh, I like that inside. Mm -hmm. It's not going to make us. It's going to help us. Yes. And then it'll give us the strength that we need. Oh. So it's there for you. Mm. And you'll know that. Hmm. There. Mm. I see pure joy mixed with fun. Good. <laughs> that would be true. <laughs> oh. I don't have my glasses on. That's okay. That's I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. Uh, what I see is very tribal. Like I see feathers. Whoa. And I see like a drum. Like a native drum and it's amazing. Yeah. Yes. 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 I see a mic standing in front of it. I was to see that with her glasses on. Sweetness. Yes. Lord. 
There's a citric flavor with the sweetness. It's an interesting thing there. So there's a cleansing. There's a cleansing also attached to this. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh, oh right. yes. <laughs> to even share this, but I was watching as you were put initially what you put on and then you wiped it off mm -hmm. and then you yeah. put something else and then you yeah. wiped it and you kept doing it. And um, you know, and I I just felt like, you know, I so I started praying I'm like, Lord, you know, help Susan, give her some clarity. Let you know, just let her know what you want to paint and you know, just just open up the gates and just let oh. it come out there. Mm. And, uh, you know, and then I started worshiping some more. I looked back, and I heard him say, I said, oh. And I heard him say, all the ducks are in a row. Yes. <laughs> okay, everybody. Now, I'm going to speak, speak to what she said. Um, because I kept starting with clarity, but when I mixed it, I kept ending up with mud. I put down colors, compliments are in there, whammo, we got a lot of mud. Yeah, and that, the, that last group of color went up, I just went, whoa. And so I, I just, went, okay. Yeah, right, yeah. Piece at a time. I like to put everything on there and move it. Yeah, mud. <laughs> Piece at a time. So I'll wipe it off. I'm also clearing out the room. And I'm clearing oh, out that's the so good. At the same oh, time as I'm doing that, yeah. I'm doing it in the room. Yeah. I only had to do it twice, though. So, oh, that's not so bad. Ooh. But he was very clear when he said, all the yeah, ducks are in a row. <laughs> um, can I, I want to compliment what you said and what you said. Um, but I see this person jumping out and being free from a dimension that he was locked up in. Well, and true. I see like a face of a, of a madman. I'm thinking of him as the Joker. <gasps> you know, and it's just, it's, and someone else said freedom before. <laughs> yep. But definitely freedom from yep. a, a bad dimension. I'm going to actually go down the row here and pull, I'm going to, I'm going to do something at the moment, so just hold on for a minute. Go down the row, I'm going to talk about all three of these paintings as one thing. Mm -hmm. All three of these paintings, and I already knew this prophetically before I came, um, when I was praying about what to paint, but I'm thrilled that it showed up everywhere. Because what God's doing for everyone here, He's doing it on the planet, but specifically for you is he's opening up a new space. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's opening up a new address, a new portal in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So good. And so you're going to see it. And interesting enough, bam, bam, yeah. bam, <laughs> in all three. Right. Who knew? Who? And this one carries not only the glory, but it always also carries a place of peace. Yes. Psalm 23. Yes. Psalm 23. Yeah. Yeah. This one carries the balance and the order of the glory and the clarity. And this one carries the freedom 
<coughs> and this life, a lot of life that comes yeah. out. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, where are we on time? So we need to, yeah, you go ahead and then we'll switch to Greg. Yeah, I just want to, um, There's share more. Something here. Um, you want this stuff? No, I don't, I don't okay. need that. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, everything has been powerful. I just want to give what I saw. That's I, I want see, to. I see a very specific theme here that's unfolded. And it's probably come, this is coming from my First Nations, because I see in the First Nations eye and heart. And when we talked about the white buffalo, immediately I heard the whole room open up and I could hear the buffalo in the spirit. I heard Whoa. it on the land. They came into this room. Mm. It was a sound for those who deal with sensitive. Mm. And what they were doing, they were, they were beginning to create a rhythm to run with. And this, to me, is actually my people coming out into. It's not just my people, but it's actually the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. whatever. And it is, this is what I was created for. Yes. God, amen. And there was a sound. And there was a rhythm. And there's a regalia. <laughs> There's a place, there's something, he's clothing me in the garments of heaven. Amen. He's clothing me with colors. But this is the combination people, the, 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 the dance, the whole, you know, chicken wing, you know, what we've been talking about here. But, not only does he get it, this person, this woman, this son of God, but all of creation recognizes this. To me, this was seashells. To me, this is the boundary. To me, this is the eastern gate. To me, this is getting ready. This is what I was created for. And all of creation is going to be sound. Even the oceans, even the waters. And therefore, as I make this journey, as I break for the oh. I enter into, for this I was created. I'm coming into this now in my season. As I run the race, as the call of a champion mm -hmm. to run the high calling, I will be one who will run with the rhythms oh. of like the buffalo. I will walk in the rhythm because there is a yeah. rhythm, a sound that they yeah. release that literally shakes the earth oh. and it brings a rhythm that the First Nations knew how to stay in the rhythm of and they knew how to stop and drink. Yes! And rest. Oh. And listen to the Creator. So they could run the race and become the secretariat champions and receive a <laughs> crown that will not rust. The moths will not take it. This is the champion call to rise. Yes! Okay, so now we're going to switch to Greg. <laughs> Well, I gotta get yeah. some sense of like, yeah. uh, like a dog. Yes or no, which file to open? 
How much did you actually remember from last Sunday? What mm-hmm. you, you were told. And then what you told that Sunday. And then the next Sunday. And the next Sunday. And he says, no wonder most of us end up with a whole lot of confusion. Because we don't have the time to process the things that we're spoken to about. It's, we're given things and then we're expected to absorb this. Get it? You got it? <laughs> Do you? You got it? <laughs> Mm. Yeah. And that is really not realistic. And I think his point was that that's not realistic. And the church has been operating that way for a little too long. And so we have been given permission to do it differently. This is a new century. It's the young part of the century. And we have opportunity. And it's, oh. you know, Susan was saying about the, um, it's not really a coincidence that the arts are sort of moving up or on or getting turned on at the same time the apostolic is really beginning to rise up. Oh. Well, I think it's also not a coincidence that it just happens to be at this point in history and time. I really think that. Everything has got its points. Mm-hmm. It all fits together. Just there's no, there's no randomness. There's no falling off the edge. And all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but we face some challenges in the arts in regards to because we are Christians. And, uh, and some of them are probably more serious than others, but um, I keep, in, in, in my struggles, um, I think, oh, is this ever really just going to work to be, as it should be, you know, but that lasts for only a short time because I know it will be. <coughs> Everything the Lord starts, He finishes, and I have no doubt that He started this. Absolutely no doubt. Mm-hmm. But surprisingly enough, that when I started as an artist when I was a kid and, and was working in the art world and all that, it never ever occurred to me I would just, I would ever be part of anything like this. Mm-hmm. Never. It, 
absolutely nothing. <coughs> and I was a very uh, forward-thinking guy about all kinds of things, uh, arts and science and space travel and all kinds of stuff. But it never, ever occurred to me that I'd be standing with a group of people on this night, at this place, talking about art in the church. Mm -hmm. Never, never, ever occurred to me. Mm -hmm. Not a thought. <coughs> now, that leads me to another point. Um, I've been making art close to 50 years. My wife's saying louder. Can you hear me? All of you, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Louder would be good. Louder, louder? Would be good. Okay. yeah. Thanks, honey. Want to turn the mic up? <laughs> That's not it's on automatic. <laughs> The video um, so I've been making art for about 50 years, and um, working professionally at it, I did that for about 25 of the 50, and uh, by professionally I mean you know, doing the studio art every day, uh, art dealers, art galleries, museums. University galleries, traveling, lectures, all that whole thing. Now, when I got redeemed by the Lord, I had kind of this train wreck encounter with the Holy Spirit in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I was up in Alaska in the middle of nowhere. And the Lord showed himself to me. And, oh. Um, I'm not going to tell that story, it's just too long. But, um, <laughs> I was in, in my mid to late 30s when that happened, and so and, and still involved, very involved in the professional art world. That was how I made my living. My point is this: from that <coughs> time, that day, that was a day in August, and to today, which is a day in. What the month is March <laughs> of this year. So that's been 30 some years ago. And I have not met one single other professional background artist in the church. And by say when I say not, you know, there are a lot of artists in the church. We know that. We're all of us. I mean somebody who came from the same background as me. Like, I was a professional. I, my work was exhibited. My work was purchased. My work was collected. And all that whole thing, that professional world, I have not met one other single person in the church like that. And for years, I... You are? Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Doing any, it's because I don't know, it's hard to explain. 
I understand. I do. Mm -hmm. um, for just one yeah. minute. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to do this. Resurrection power and hope restored. Hope. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes. Resurrection power yeah. and, and hope you restored. Yes. And you are not alone. Yes. 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 Anymore. Yes. And in Jesus' name, I welcome you back to Boston. Mm -hmm. The ground is <laughs> not always hard. The ground is not always hard. And you have a place. The Lord has a place for you in Boston. And I welcome you and I bless you. And I thank you for being here. I thank you for being here. For not giving up. I bless you. In Jesus' name. All you have to do is start making things again. That's all you have to do. It's your place of alignment. That's your assignment. There you go. There it is. There it is. There's the joy. <laughs> Good. That was fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yay. Yay. Your hug started the impartation. Yeah. I just rolled it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Moving right along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a healing Yes. Yeah. I would say one of those things to you. When you walk out the door tonight, you're not going to be the same as when you walk in.